Joshua had died. Without a strong leader, the Israelites disobeyed God and worshiped false gods. They ignored and forgot about the one true God. God was angry. He let an enemy king take over the Israelites, and they served that king for eight years. Then, the Israelites remembered how good they had it when they loved God and obeyed God. They cried out to him, save us. God wanted the people to love and obey him. So God raised up Othniel to rule over them as the first judge. Othniel led the Israelites into battle against the king of Aram, and God helped the Israelites win. The land was peaceful for 40 years. Then Othniel died. Again, Israel ignored God and forgot him. God gave the king of Moab power to attack the Israelites and defeat them. The Israelites served the king of Moab for 18 years. The Israelites were sad. They remembered how good they had it when they loved and obeyed God. They cried out to him, save us. So God raised up Ehud to save them. The Israelites sent Ehud to the king of Moab, who was a very large man. Ehud had a double-edged sword under his clothes. Ehud said, I have a secret message for you. The king dismissed all his attendants, so he was alone with Ehud. And the king stood up. Ehud pulled out his sword. He pushed it into the king's belly. The sword was swallowed up by the king's fat. Ehud couldn't even pull it out. Ehud escaped down the porch, locking the doors of the room behind him. Ehud was gone when the king's servants came in. The door was locked, and they thought he was using the bathroom. They waited, but the king never opened the door. The servants got worried, so they unlocked the door and found their king dead on the floor. When Ehud escaped, he blew a ram's horn and he became the Israelites' leader. God will help us defeat our enemies, the Moabites, Ehud told them. So the Israelites battled the Moabites and took control over them. There was peace in the land for 40 years. When Ehud died, the Israelites ignored and forgot God again. They turned away from him. When they remembered how good they had it when they loved and obeyed God, they cried out to him, save us. God sent a third judge, Shamgar, to save them. The judges saved the people from the consequences of their sin, but not the cause of it. God's plan was to one day send a true deliverer, Jesus, his own son, to be the king of his people. Jesus saves people from sin forever. <laughs>